Sunday embargo today for you guys if we go for a 10.30 Saturday evening embargo. Um, show up onto the mic please. Good afternoon Pep. Um, I'm sure you're expecting a question probably along the lines of the question I'm about to ask. Um, Leo Messi. Any chances that you might come to Manchester City or what the situation is? Player from Barcelona, he will stay there. Do you that is my wish. I stay in Barcelona, so I'm not going to talk about the players for the other club. So, but as, as someone knows him well, I'm not going to ask you about signing him. I'm going to ask you whether you think he might play for another European side ever, or whether that's just Barcelona. I think he's going to finish his career there. I'll ask you it's something. My on, wish. I'll ask you something on safer ground. The um, uh, transfer window for the summer has been extended, so it's the same as the rest of Europe. I is that something that you're happy about, and is it something that makes perhaps a positive difference? Not much. You prefer it the other way. I understand because the rest of the Europe have more time, more time to do it. In the period that you, you the clubs cannot uh, buy players, they can be sell and cannot be replace, replace it, but. Uh, I would like to start the season with the squad already done, but on the other side, I understand to don't be in different positions than, than the rest clubs in Europe. And in terms of your squad, Raheem Sterling with his hamstring, is, is that going to be a, a long process or what's the situation with Raheem, please? His hamstring injured, like uh, you know, and we will see. Uh, of course, it takes weeks, but uh, we will see if... Uh, Again, before Leicester, Madrid, and the rest of the games. I don't know right now. Um, hamstring injuries can be quite serious. I mean, we could be... A, a, do you think it, it's going to be weeks, months? Have you got any idea? Uh, no. How much of a problem is it being without Raheem? It's a problem. But it's a problem when we were... We had Gundo six months the first year and Laporte this season four or five months, four or five months uh, with Laporte. So it's always a problem, but it's what it is. So during the season, it's happened, these kind of things, unfortunately, especially for the players. What, where, what is the current situation with Leroy Sane? I start to train with us. He's still not, you know, when you have an injury, especially this one for six months, is not training one week and immediately you are there. So you need to recover the tempo, the rhythm, the confidence in your body, in your knee. You know, don't think about the injury and it's time. It's not, you know, straight to training in the training session and immediately be there. It's not like an ankle, for example, or a muscular injury. This injury in the knee, it always needs time. So, so is he... Time. Is he training with the main group now? Yeah. yeah. So now it's just a case of him mentally being right, not getting any pain. No, weeks. He needs weeks. Uh, Week. Important Important is that the surgery was perfect and he's recovering incredibly well. And he will come back hopefully stronger than before. But right now he needs a little bit more time. Hello, Pep. Um, I'm sure you want a win to get back to winning ways against West Ham United. But this one comes just before the mid-season break as well. So how do you balance that? How do you get your momentum back ahead of what will be a, almost a fortnight? No, I never think about uh, what the schedule is in that way, having break or not having break. I don't think about it was good now having break or, or don't have it. So <coughs> now I have one more game and after we have days off for everyone and prepare when we come back to training sessions for the next game. So it will be good for... I think a little bit break is good for everyone. Uh, it's now and we're going to, to do it and your last game at the Etihad the next five will be away from the Etihad after this one because of the, the cup final and the, and the Champions League that goes with it so as, as far as maybe the fans are concerned something to shout about before you have these next five away and, and what sort of team can you put out given the different competitions that you've got will it always be the same or is it one for the League Cup maybe one for the Champions League how will it work for you the team? 
Yeah, the starting lineup. No, no. Every every team, every game, as always, I have done. I try to <coughs> to select. It depends on the circumstances, the, my feelings, the guys. I I put it in. So I'm going to to play with eleven. I have an idea, but not not uh, complete. And and every game is completely different right now. In March, it came back a little bit busy, just in case we continue in Champions League, but not even in Champions League we have busy, but in February this month is a little bit more space between the games, so we will see. Pep, Sergio Aguero's won another Player of the Month award. He's won more than anyone else in Premier League history now. Where does he rank, not just as a striker, but as a player in terms of Premier League top, top players? One of them. When it's more than one decade, I don't know how many years, and every season being there, despite of injuries had Sometimes in every single season, always is on top of the the top class players. An exceptional player, and overall an incredible person. And just a question about the break. You've said before that you're not going anywhere. You'll be training here, but you will give the players some days off. Have you told them anything about where they can or can't go? Are they all allowed to go away? Or they do what they want. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. Hi, Pep. I'm Jamie Jackson from the Guardian. Whenever you talk <coughs> about Liverpool. This, Sorry? Whenever you talk about Liverpool this season, you say it's an exceptional opponent, they never lose. Well, you have been, your City team has been the exceptional opponent for the last two seasons. Not really losing in the league, certainly. So what's changed th th this season for your team? Is it because every team has a cycle and maybe the cycle of this particular team is sort of on the way down? Is that, is that why you're not the exceptional opponent anymore that you once were? I think we are a good team. I like the way we played this season. Uh, we cannot deny the distance is in big, <laughs> 22 points, we didn't expect it, honestly, in the beginning of the season, but it's a reality, we have to accept it, we have to face it, we have to learn it, about it, but uh, I, like, I like my team, I don't have no much bad opinions about uh, our performance. But just regarding the cycle of a team, is it natural that every team, so Liverpool may well have it in the next season or the season after where, you know, the human beings are athletes, they have peaks, they have troughs. So is it just what we're seeing here with your team? It's Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, of course, the cycles change. It's not mm -hmm. eternal. Uh, except Noko, Federer, Nadal and Djokovic, the rest, uh, there are cycles. Um, one, one year ago, the people said that we are unstoppable and we are going to maintain this level for the next four or five years. No one can beat us. And in one year, after two seasons, incredible success. So I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I'm pretty sure we're going to prepare as best as possible to compete and reduce this gap that we have against Liverpool that uh, two seasons ago, when we have 100 points, we beat them with 25 points behind them, in front of them. So they reduce the gap for next season one point and this season look what happened. So now the other teams we have to do it. So that is the reality. Hi Pep. How would you describe the goal scoring situation at the moment? Because it's quite tricky because on the one hand in the last couple of games you've struggled a bit in front of goal, but on the other hand you've scored hundred and five goals or whatever mm -hmm. it is. So how, how would you describe it at the moment? I don't know. I would like to find to find to know the explanation how he's able to score the goals. Always I can say, and always I would like, is in every single game when we play to try to score, to concede less and create more. And in all the games it happened. So when we were able to do what we have done against the Spurs last week, I don't have energy, any power, any com you know, knowledge to say something wrong about my players. So I know they want to score goals, I know they want to score the penalties, I know they don't want to concede. And we concede honestly few against big, big clubs, not much, and we create a lot. And that is what I, I believe. We cannot win games, we can miss a lot of chances. When they arrive one or two score a goal, we have improved of that, you know that, but we cannot lose our way we are playing. That is what I want, and that will be a problem in terms of, oh, something is not going well. But uh, at the end of the game, when you review the game, so what do we can do more? So, yeah, put the ball the net, the most difficult thing in football, 
and we're going to try to improve. But why, in the same time, in this season, we score, I don't know how many goals a lot, and now when we score, I don't have an explanation. I would like to find it, but I don't know. Yeah, that Tottenham game you mentioned, you created a lot of chances. The players finally get into the byline, putting the ball across. It seemed like you were getting into those areas a lot, but do you think in previous games this season that's been something that's been difficult? Have your, have your players not been able to play in that same way? To get to get to the byline and score that goal, where you know Sterling's at the back post and just taps it in, has that goal been harder to score? No, I think we are there. Most of the situation, we are two or three people in the box, not maybe six or seven, because when you play against team like Spurs, like uh, they are so fast in front with Song and, and Lucas Moura and the other ones, so you have to be careful, you know, because they want to do that. Uh, they punish you, you mistake, but. So part of the penalty, we create a lot in career, incredible in career chances. So we concede few, and it's nice. It's 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 not about concern. It's a little bit more sad for my players. I suffer for them because they want to do it, and unfortunately, we cannot score and win the games. But maybe you know we'll learn for the future. Yeah. Hi, Pep. Um, Benjamin Mendy and John Stones haven't been involved just lately. Are there any issues there at all? No, they train in both. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Hi, Pat. Hi. Was there a point this season, I wonder, where you began to get a little bit concerned or realised that the season wasn't going to go the way you wanted it to? I don't see the last games like the people drop or the people's or the team was they give up or. I don't have that feeling. I see them training sessions and it's the same rhythm, the same way of playing like we had in the past, not recent. So in the last years, that is my feeling. So I get the Spurs always was a tough games, but I don't know, remember one game. Ah, maybe the game we play at home too. So we won one point in these two games and we played really well in both. Maybe we, I don't know, we will we'll have Something that I have to discover what because the way we play, I like it. I enjoy watching my team. It's not enough. So that Tottenham game that we took, the first Tottenham game, is that what, what you sorry? Talking? The first Tottenham game is that the one you're talking about with the the VAR at, at the end? No, but As now, that was the point. Sorry, but now VAR is not involved in anything of this conversation. I'm talking about the way we play it and uh, the football and. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, so I said many times in that position in 93rd minute, is this allow one goal? Still, now I don't understand. I can complain that, but I complain more in that day, the chances we miss. So we had 20 shoots. I don't know how many in target. We have to score goals. So it, we, we didn't, in that game, we didn't win for the reason why for the BAR. No, we didn't win because we don't score goals. But what we can do is play better and better and better to instead to shoot 20, 18, 28, and be 28, 38. So only we can do. And that is going to try uh, to do it. We tried from the day one. So I never saw a game this season. Never was so one game. Like we didn't try it and we were much, much worse than the opponent. Like it happens sometimes in the first season, or even the second one. But this season, I don't have that feeling. When you review mentally and some reviews, highlights, review the games we lost, the way we lost, the way we concede, I have a good feeling in the way we played. But that business, you win, you're right, you don't win, you got a problem. So we have to understand, accept that you have an opponent, a big rival with 22 points in front of us, is because something missed, no? something was not good. So if you're happy with the team, you're happy the way they're playing, what then needs to change? Because obviously there is this huge gap. A score a score of goals and concede the two or three chances they have, avoid it, and when we arrive there, try to score a goal. So I don't think much. Have you noticed anything confidence-wise? Because it's a team, this is a group that in recent years only know how to win. Have, have, you, ever, have you seen any, any idea that maybe confidence has dropped? I don't think so. I said to them to continue to miss how much as you want. So try to instead to create 18, create 28 and miss as much you want, but try to create it. So the game has to try to be there all the time and fight and, and try it. So I don't want to I don't want to tell them, put my pressure, you have to score a goal, you have to score a goal. You have to take a penalty and score a penalty. They know it, they want it. They suffer it. I know them. I know the reaction in the locker room after that, the game. So they want it. So be free. Try to be aggressive and try to score. If not, next one, next one. If it not happen this game, next one. If it not happen next game, in 10 games. If don't, next season. 
So, because they want it, they try it. The problem is when, you know, you go there and you are scary and we know what's going to happen and after that. But in my team, in our team, it didn't happen this season. Always we take courage to play and anyway. So, we, Crystal Palace, 2 2, last minute. How we play? Always to try there, right? Two times, score two goals. First corner in the first half, score a goal. Okay, in last minute, in one mistake, uh, we did it. But what do we have done? So we are not 30 seconds to waste the time to the keeper, put the long ball and that. We want to play and play and play. We, we did it always and we are doing now and we are going to do until the last day we are together. Guys from the power, please.